everyone, it's Marianne and welcome to my Oasis Life. In this video, I'm going to show you how I transfer my pothos propagations into LECA. I will be converting three pothos that I'm currently propagating into LECA. This will be more of an experiment rather than a tutorial. So if you want to learn more about semi-hydroponics and using LECA, go check out videos from Minimalist Cali and BB Plants. I'll link them down in the description. They have more experience and knowledge when it comes to semi-hydroponics and using LECA. So do check them out. So two of the pothos that I'm converting into LECA has been propagating in water and one of them has been propagating in sphagnum moss. They are at different stages of propagations, but they do have some root growth. And I think this is a good time to convert them to LECA. And I have a feeling that because it started out in water propagations and in sphagnum moss, which is also an inert medium, the transition to LECA will be a lot easier compared to plants that have been already established in soil. But that's just my theory. We will see if that's actually the case. So LECA stands for lightweight expandable clay aggregate, which are basically small clay balls that expand when you soak them in water. It kind of looks like bubble tea or boba, especially when, you know, boba is not yet cooked. And it's often used in semi-hydroponics or passive hydroponics. And like most soilless mediums, LECA does not contain any nutrients like organic soil does. Those who swear by LECA say that plant care is so much easier using LECA than having your plants in soil. I'm not really entirely convinced about that and I haven't tried LECA. I resisted it for the longest time Especially during its peak hype, but like I mentioned earlier I want to experiment with LECA because I want to try it before I completely knock it and maybe I'll be convinced with using more LECA in the future but since I have this pothos that needs to be repotted anyway and to be honest, I'm quite tired of vacuuming soil in my bedroom So let's try to experiment with LECA and see what happens I will also talk about what I think are the pros and cons of using LECA while I repot my pothos. This is the LECA balls that I'm using. It's actually smaller than the usual regular LECA balls that I see other plant tubers use. I just put this in this date container because I upcycle them, but this is actually the packaging that it came from. It's Hydro Balls. I got this at Petco for about $7 and it's the cheapest one that I found. And this is the LECA after I soak it for 24 hours. I soak it in pH 6 water and make sure to thoroughly clean it as well before I started soaking it and drain it out. So the first of the three pothos that I am going to repot is the Enjoy Pothos, which you'll probably recognize from my DIY planter video. It suffered root rot since because I watered it and forgot to drain out the water, so it suffered root rot. But now it has grown some roots back and it's ready to be repotted. Next is the Hawaiian Golden Pothos, which I'm very excited to get a cutting off. And I've been propagating it in water, but I really love the variegation in this Hawaiian Golden Pothos. It has not grown a lot of roots yet, but I'm going to put in like it to continue its propagation. Last but not least is my Synapsis Pictus Argerius. These are propagations from my original one that has suffered quite a lot and I propagated just to save some of it. And this has been propagating sphagnum moss for about a month, I think. The first one that I'm going to pot into LECA is the Hawaiian Golden Pothos. And I'll be using this glass container to pot the Golden Hawaiian Pothos in. And as you can see, it hasn't formed that much roots yet, even though it has already started to form roots. So I think a glass container should be fine. I've seen others drill a hole on the side of the glass container, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to keep it in this regular glass container. But normally you'd want to use a nursery pot that has holes or a net pot when you are potting something in Leica. So I'm going to fill up the glass container about a third up with the Leica balls. The first pro that I see in using LECA is a lot less messy and I can keep my hands clean when I'm potting up plants with LECA instead of soil. Although I enjoy the feeling of dirt in my hands, it's definitely a lot easier to clean up when I'm using LECA instead of soil. I'm going to trim off the end of the stem of the cutting and also separate one of the leaves from the rest of the cutting just so I could arrange it the way I want to into the glass container and make it look a little bit more balanced and I'm just going to fill up the glass container with LECA. 
the first con that I see in using Lekka is I find it to be a lot more expensive than soil even though I was able to find a bag for about $7 at my local Petco I wasn't really getting a lot of Lekka and in comparison to the soil I get a lot more soil for the same price than I do with Lekka And here it is all potted up that was very quick and easy and I'm just gonna be picking up some of the Leica balls that fell on the tray and put it in the glass container just shake it up a little bit just to make sure every nook and cranny is filled with Leica and here's what it looks like through the glass container and as mentioned earlier, Lekka don't have any nutrients in it, so it's important to use water that is pH 6 and also water that contains nutrients. So here I'm using a pH 6 water that doesn't contain actual nutrients but it does have Epsom salt in it. And I'm just putting enough water to fill up the bottom third of the container. Since I potted this up in a glass container, there's a big chance that it would form algae, so I'm also placing it in this basket cash bow to help prevent that. The next one that I'm converting into Leica is my Enjoy Pothos. It was initially in soil, but as I mentioned earlier, it did suffer root rot, so I had to take it out of the soil and put it in water. And it has grown a lot of roots since, and I think it's time to put it up back again and let's see how well it does in Leica. This time I'm using a nursery pot. This is a little bit filmsy, but this is the one that fits the cash bow that I'm putting the Enjoy Pothos in. And this is another con that I find with Leica, and this is probably the biggest reason that held me back from using Leica is the added use of nursery pots or net pots, which means a lot more use of plastic, and I'm really trying to reduce my plastic waste, and I don't want to purchase more plastic than I need to, especially when it comes to my plants and gardening. But here I'm just reusing the nursery pot that I use for my tomato transplants. And another thing that it was hard for me to get past with Leica, I feel that the Leica is such an unnatural medium for plants to grow in. I mean, at least with coco coir and sphagma moss, they kind of mimic the texture of organic soil. But with Leica, I know that's not the case, but it feels like it's crushing the roots, especially for a plant like my Enjoy Pothos that has a bit more established roots already. And that felt unnatural to me as a growing medium for a plant which I know it's weird, but that's kind of like how I felt towards Leica for the longest time. But as I'm potting this up, I could definitely see the appeal in Leica because it's really a lot quicker and a lot faster to pot up plants. And if your goal is efficiency when it comes to potting up your plants, then Leica is the way to go. And this is a cash bow that I'm going to be using. As you can see, it has no drainage holes. And I'll be using the same type of water that I've used earlier. It is recommended that you use nutrients, but I haven't purchased one yet, so this should suffice for now. And I'm using about half a cup of water, just enough water to fill up the bottom third of the nursery pot. And that's my Enjoy Pothos converted into Leica. Now that I have potted up two plants, this is all the Leica that I have left. And I'm kind of surprised with the amount of Leica that I have already used. I still have some in reserve, but I think this should suffice the third plant that I am going to pot up, which is my Syndaptus pictus archerius. So this one has been propagating in sphagnum moss for about a month now. And this is the fastest I've propagated a Syndaptus pictus. These are usually slow propagators. And I think what helped is be putting it in a cloche, which gave it a lot of humidity and kept the sphagnum moss moist. When converting something in Leica, especially when it came from soil or any other soil-like medium, it's very important that the roots are very clean. The first two was in water propagation, so I didn't wash them. But with this one, after I take it out of the moss, I definitely wash the roots. And these are some more Synaptus pectus that I was propagating water, so I'm just gonna add it here. And with just the third one, I actually had a little bit of difficulty potting this up. I'm not sure if because a lot of these were single leaf cuttings and it was a lot harder to pot it that way, which I mean, even if you pot it in a regular soil, single leaf cuttings tend to be a little bit harder to pot up because they don't have much anchor yet. But yeah, so I think this footage is already my third attempt of me trying to pot up this in Leica, but it worked out in the end. It just took a little bit of maneuvering and making sure 
that everything is covered with lacquer so I just decided to pour the lacquer balls from the top instead of just pouring it from the side like I, like I was doing earlier with the first two. The rest of the process is pretty much the same so I'm not going to repeat myself but just to summarize the pros and cons, the pros is definitely the efficiency when it comes to potting up your plants and it's also a lot less messy. The cons is definitely the upfront cost. It can get expensive with the lack of balls, the nutrients and the pH testing kit. The cleanup is definitely a lot more easier compared to soil but if you have pets when they drop on the floor make sure you pick them up right away because they do like kibbles and you don't want your pets to accidentally eat them. And this thing right here is just you know thing that you often find in plants to help with capillary action especially the ones that are self-watering. I don't think this actually helps but you know it's just one of those plant parent things to help us make feel better that our plants are actually taken care of but I don't think it makes a difference I don't think it actually needs it to help with the capillary action but here I'm just using this Chinese takeout container because I don't have a proper cash flow for this one yet and so I'm just placing it here now but yeah so that is my synaptic pictures propagations in LECA so that's how I pre-potted my pothos propagation into LECA I'm actually filming the intro and outro the day after I repotted those plants and I mean it's only been a day but so far so good I guess none of them has like shown any signs of stress and since I and I get how LECA can be addicting even though the advice that people often get is if you want to try LECA just do it one plant at a time like try it with one plant and see but since I had a little bit of left over LECA that I already cleaned and soaked so now I'm trying to propagate with LECA as well and this is the one with my Peperomia postrata a string of turtles and this one with the Hoya Crimson Princess it's I mean so far so good like I said it's only just been a day I do notice though the top clays I've already tried out but it's supposed to give water to the roots through capillary action uh, we will see hopefully this too wouldn't die out especially this one because this one is a price cutting of mine so if it doesn't work out I'll probably just put this back into water propagation and this one this one has some established roots already so hopefully this one will work out a little bit better but this one is still just trying to grow roots so we'll see we'll compare what happens with LECA propagation and with actually just potting up plants in LECA so I'll give updates in the future maybe in a month from now see what happens with this pothos propagations as well as the Peperomia prostata and the Hoya Crimson Queen see what happens with them but before I go I just want to say thank you so much for taking me over to 2,000 subscribers I am really honored and flattered with how much this channel has been growing as well as with my Instagram and TikTok I really appreciate all the support from you all and I also want to say thank you so much to everyone who watched my previous video my four starter monsteras and the feedback that I got from that video I really appreciate it if you haven't seen it go check it out I'll link it up here and as well down in the description and in the end cards I'll have the donation links for the BLM organizations and migrant children organizations down in the description please go donate if you have the ability to do so and usually I'll do a giveaway whenever I reach a YouTube milestones but these milestones have been coming a lot faster than I can keep up with I'm frankly still dealing with giving out the prize for my last giveaway because there's have been shipping delays what I currently plan to show my appreciation for you all is I'm currently working on a project that I'm hopefully going to release by end of summer middle of August don't worry it's not merchandise so I'm teasing it right now just to hold myself accountable that I will actually go ahead and do and finish the project so that it will be ready in time and I'm gonna do a traditional giveaway at the same time during that period hopefully it's something that you would love to have from me it's thanks again so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you like it please give me a thumbs up and if you're new here I hope you subscribe I come up with house plants and sustainable lifestyle videos every week and if you haven't yet go check out these videos up here until my next one but until then I see you I appreciate you take care of yourself and each other and have a plentiful day bye